What's up, future senior citizens who haven't even hit their first midlife crisis yet? Welcome back to the channel, where we ask the questions nobody asked, but everyone secretly wants the answers to. Like, what if humans actually lived to 150 or even 200 years old? Yes, 200. That's not a birthday, that's a live reenactment of The Hobbit. Blow the candles, Frodo. Before your brain melts, let's start with the science. Scientists are already messing around with CRISPR, senolytics, gene therapies, and AI-discovered drugs that basically tell your cells, hey, how about you stop aging like expired milk? Some animals already have insane lifespans. Tortoises hit 200 like it's a casual Tuesday. So humans might pull it off too. But here's the catch. Nobody wants to live to 180 if their body feels like an uncharged Nokia brick. It's about healthy lifespan, not Grandpa Simulator 2.0. Now imagine society if everyone is living that long, pure chaos. First of all, school? You'd graduate at 55, and Gen Z would still be paying off student loans by the time their grandparents' jobs? Retirement at 65 becomes a cute historical myth. You'd retire at 130, and your job interviews at 90 would still start with, so tell me about yourself, like bro. We don't have time for that origin story. We'd have four generations working at once. Boomers, millennials, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, and all of them arguing over who ruined the economy and politics? Oh, Lord, imagine world leaders living to 180. Some already feel like they've been in office since dinosaurs paid taxes. Dating would be another level of wild your Tinder bio at 112. Emotionally unavailable, but still young at heart. Imagine a 120-year relationship. Till death do us part suddenly becomes a 120-year contract. Meanwhile, the divorce courts would look like the final battle of Avengers Endgame. Just thousands of people showing up like, Yeah, I'm done, your honor. For humans to stay functional at 200, technology would have to glow up harder than an anime protagonist in season two. We'd need organ printing like 3D printed Legos, nanobots cleaning your arteries like tiny Roombas, AI health monitors, personalized gene editing, basically turning people into iPhones with better battery life doctors, would be like, yeah, your vitamin D is low and your emotional damage is permanent. AI medicine would catch diseases decades early, your doctor in 2070. Your cholesterol will be high in 2084, so go touch grass. Now let's talk overpopulation. The big yikes. If everyone lives to 200 and people keep having kids at normal rates, Earth would be packed like a Marvel cameo montage, but in countries with long lifespans today, Japan, South Korea, Italy, birth rates actually drop. People delay kids or skip kids altogether. So longer life doesn't automatically mean Earth becomes a clown car. Scientists predict we'll hit 10 to 11 billion people by 2100, but longevity isn't what pushes it most. The real challenge isn't population. It's making sure we have enough food, water, housing, and Wi-Fi, because priorities. Now the economy. If you think retirement is rough now, imagine saving money for 130 years. Pension systems would burst into flames like a cheap Samsung charger. Governments would scramble to rewrite rules. CEOs would work until 140. Promotions? Impossible. You're still the new kid at work, at age 80. But it's not all doom. Longer lifespans mean more time to learn, innovate, travel, change careers, fix society, and maybe finally finish your Steam backlog. Humanity could hit a new golden age where we're smarter, healthier, and less chaotic, hopefully. So, if humans lived to 150 or 200, we'd get crazy tech, chaotic workplaces, weird dating, complicated economies, and a bunch of boomers who still won't log off Facebook. But we'd also get more wisdom, more innovation, 
and more time to glow up mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Maybe. If you like this future fever dream, smash that like button like your joint smashing at age 190. Comment below. How long would you want to live? 100? 150? 200? Or are you like, nah, bro, life got me tired already? Subscribe for more brain-melting future scenarios. Peace, and may your telomeres stay long and hydrated.